Excuse Stage you. one, throttle up. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Copy, We're throttled one Bravo. back up and one Bravo, the call out from space. That's one of the abort sequences. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. to look nominal. Merlin Stage engines are throttling down for G-limiting. Four Gs, and we're holding it there for the crew. Major event coming up will be main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, looking at the second stage engine nozzle, and an ignition of the second stage. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage separation Officially, the Inspiration 4 crew are now on their way to space. First stage booster there on the left-hand side of your screen is making its uh, way back down to Earth. The grid fins have popped out to assist with the steering. It will be making a landing attempt on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, uh, which is parked out and holding position in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, so we have a couple of views on Acquisition screen. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. Uh, as Kate mentioned, the left-hand side is a view from the top of our first stage looking down. That has already separated from the second stage, and it's making its way back to Earth. The velocity of SpaceX trajectory nominal is being tracked on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. On the right-hand side of your screen is a view of our second stage Merlin vacuum engine. On the opposite end of the, that engine is the second stage and the crew, which sits on top of the second stage. Everything looks to be going Normal, uh, <laughs> normally uh, with them, um, and you can also track the velocity on the second stage on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And we also have awesome views of the crew inside of their capsule as well. I'm pretty sure during first stage ascent, I saw Dr. Okay, Cyan Proctor. I'm pretty sure I saw Dr. Cyan Proctor give us a, two thumbs up. <laughs> yep. I'm sure she enjoyed this ride that she's been waiting for her entire life. Yes. Uh, one notable thing, too, is we're getting some twilight views. Um, the sun just set in Florida, but we're high enough um, uh, up where uh, the light around the horizon is also reflecting off of very high altitude objects, such as the first and second stages. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out, trajectory nominal from the guy who's up there. Also notice we're Really up there now, well past 100 kilometers. Acquisition of signal, New Hampshire. Just before that view switched, we saw some uh, teammate fist bumps going on there inside <laughs> of the cabin. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're having a fun ride there. Um, and their journey isn't over. We've got about seven more minutes until uh, Dragon separates from the second stage. Yes, uh, next milestone for this mission is actually going to be happening on the first stage. Um, it's going to be performing a re-entry burn that's going to be coming up around the T plus seven minute and um, 30 second mark. Uh, that burn is used to slow down the first stage before it re-enters the denser parts of the atmosphere. Um, a few minutes later, it will execute a landing burn and make an attempt to land on our drone ship that's currently parked in the Atlantic Ocean. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Dragon copies. So Brothers. far, sorry. I'm just going to say, so far, everything looking great for the Inspiration 4 crew. 
appearing that everything is proceeding nominally there with the second stage, which is what you see on the right-hand side. That HD propulsion is nominal. I was just going to say that MVAC engine uh, we just heard now is looking nominal. About a minute left to go before the first stage performs its uh, first burn. And on your left hand side, looking at the first stage, you may see uh, those white puffs. Um, those are the nitrogen puffs uh, helping to steer and guide a uh, vehicle, basically. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Basically, is the attitude control. Turn copy. For the vehicle as it makes its way back down to Earth. There's the crew on the right hand side of your screen. I think I see some more <laughs> thumbs up there. <laughs> Dr. Proctor is clearly excited that she's finally in space. Uh, again, this mission will be orbiting Earth for three days uh, and they will be at an altitude of 575 kilometers, which if I remember correctly, John I, you said that that is the distance from Los Angeles Golden Gate Bridge. There you go. <laughs> They're going to get there a lot faster. Phase <laughs> two, FTS is saved. Right now. So, what you're seeing on the screen on the left hand side is the entry burns, the first of two burns on the first stage. Uh, again, this first stage has already separated from the second stage. So stage the first stage burn, is uh, making its way back to Earth, trying to land, and the second stage, everything is going well. It is headed into orbit with the crew on board. Actually, there on your screen, uh, you can see a sunrise horizon there uh, with planet Earth uh, just behind the glowing MVAC engine. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Call out stage two in terminal guidance. Uh, we're at the altitude. We're working the angular momentum we need to get into the right orbit. And if you're wondering, crews pull about three and a half G's right now, less than they took on the first stage flight. So in about 15 seconds, we are expecting. The... Copy, Shannon. We are expecting down. the impact to throttle down and to cut off an event called second engine cutoff and then we'll wait for the confirmation of, of good orbit. At the same time, the first stage uh, will be uh, beginning its landing burn. And here we have the MVAC. We just saw that it um, shut off its engine. Stage one, landing burn, still off. Driving SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. All right, good news there. Nominal orbit insertion, that's amazing news for Inspiration 4 crew. Uh, in a few minutes here, we'll begin opening that, oh, uh, excuse me, in a few minutes here, we'll separate from the second stage, and then shortly after that, we'll begin opening that nose cone. Uh, at the same time, we land our first stage on the drone ship, <laughs> as which if, is super exciting. As if the second stage action wasn't exciting enough. Right. <laughs> So there's that MVAC engine, like we mentioned before, it has already shut down uh, in an event known as second engine cutoff. And the crew are now gliding, if you will. Now one thing right now is we're coming up uh, just uh, under 11 minutes in the flight. We're waiting another minute and a half or so before we get into uh, the separation sequence. We're, the second stage is going through a series of events where we make sure that Gases are all pushed out of the system. There aren't any what they call disturbance torques. 
We want to make sure that the second stage is very stable. It's quiet. It's not moving around. It's not doing anything. So we give it a few minutes to actually just vent everything down, then go into quiet mode. Then Dragon will send the command to separate itself from the Falcon 9. It'll be pushed away. Falcon 9 stays in orbit for a while till it eventually comes back to Earth. And then Dragon moves on its way. Yeah, John, you talked about the, the terminal count earlier um, today, and this is almost similar to that. It's like another check before the next thing, before the next event that happens. The beauty of the countdown. <laughs> okay, we're about 30 seconds away from uh, separation of Dragon from the second stage. The view on the left-hand side of the screen is a view of the unpressurized section of Dragon. So it's the sort of back end, the trunk section of the Dragon. So when we do see separation, we'll see that kind of push away from the second stage and uh, make its way into orbit. Once again, the Inspiration4 has lifted off from pad 39A. Um, they are now in orbit uh, around Earth and we're we came to the worldwide orbit, enjoy your time on orbit, and we look forward to flying again with SpaceX. And copy that, Gers. We really appreciate everyone's help back in um, LCC. That was the voice of SpaceX Chief Engineer, Chief Engineer Bill Gersten Mayer communicating with Inspiration4 Commander Jared Isaacman. So Dragon has separated away from the second stage, and that's the view that we have on the left-hand side of your screen. A lot of space there. <laughs> uh, and uh, Expected the, the loss next of signal Bermuda and New Hampshire. And then the next event that we uh, are anticipating is the opening. Dragon SpaceX nominal dehumidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts. We're going to open up that nose cup. So we heard the call out, nominal Draco checkouts after separation. And there's that first view that we have over the shoulders of uh, Commander Jared Isaacman and pilot Cyan Proctor. Uh, Dr. Cyan Proctor is on the right-hand side and uh, Jared is on the left-hand side. And this is uh, their dashboard for the next three days. These touch screens provide them all of the telemetry and data and information and, um, about the systems on board Dragon. Uh, that they can interact with while on orbit. Oh, we can see the zero G <laughs> indicator floating is. around. <laughs> and it looks like it is a little golden retriever. <laughs> oh, like the golden retriever uh, assistance dogs at St. Jude yeah. Children's yeah. Hospital. That is apropos. Oh, I love it fifth crew member on board with the Inspiration4 crew. <laughs> so in a few seconds here, we are expecting the nose cone to open up and hopefully we'll be able to see uh, the first views of the Dragon Cupola in space. There we can see that they have just opened up their visors. And there is a forward hatch uh, inside of Dragon uh, between the cupola and the crew. Uh, so when the nose cone does deploy, um, they won't immediately get to see out the cupola, but once